It's a pretty nice day. Among cherry blossoms in these trees, and just past an art student who had a found project and had decided to pick up some of the branches for the trees as part of his project. I wished him well. And like a Hufflepuff, I uh, hope he finds many other interesting objects. Okay, I was planning on responding to Greg's video about how I discovered the LBD. And such like. I remember when the video first came out that Hank was doing a project. He was by the river. I think he was slightly drunk at the time. He's like, yes, I want to make a project, and considering doing this. And I went with bated breath wondering, what is this vlog brother going to do? Because they often do very great projects, Hank and John Green. And when I turned out it was going to be Pride and Prejudice, I was quite excited. My my history with Pride and Prejudice had been the Jennifer L. and Colin Firth one. My sister, who I absolutely adore, and most of the rest of my family had decided to watch that. And it was passed on through my family who was mainly composed of girls, and they happened to like the series a lot. And I thought it ran over long because I was young and didn't know how the series went, but Gradually, I got to like Colin Firth as Mr. Darcy, and got quite attached to his character, and kind of identified with him, not being very social at the beginning, though I didn't quite get to the transformation at the end, and I have time, I can work on it, but later when the Kiera Knightley came out, and we were kind of dismayed because we liked the miniseries, and after watching that a couple times and buying the DVDs, I thought, okay, now Kira Knightley's trying to turn his... Elizabeth Darcy to be. And watch that. And my older sister liked that version better because it was shorter and easier on the eyes. And didn't take so much time to set up. So then when the Lizzie Bennett Diaries came along, I started following from the beginning. And at first I couldn't tell whether the they just Hank Green went overboard and had picked somebody who really did believe that they were Lizzie Bennett, but by the tenth episode I had found out the cast's Twitter profiles and had followed them, and started really enjoying this transmedia experience. So I came on it slant-wise, I understood some of the memes and the references, and gradually fell in love with the people running the show as well. I loved the anticipation of waiting for things to unfold the tension of waiting for events that happen in the book to happen in your life. I was really taken by the question and answers episodes, because in character I thought that was a brilliant stroke. Kudos to Bernie Sue, to Rachel Kiley, to all the other wonderful writers which I follow and cannot remember. There's Jay Bushman who's a producer, there's... Names. I know that there was Spy Scribe, but I can't remember her name. Sorry. And. Kate Noble. I really liked Kate Noble as well. There are many other wonderful writers in the series, and I loved how the interplay and the Woody Ben Diaries played out. Rachel Connolly is absolutely wonderful to pull on Twitter, and was absolutely entertained by whatever she and Mary Kate came up with, and I'm looking forward to seeing what other projects they might come across. I discovered Spearsville after the fact, so I was not in the know of who Mary Kate Wiles was, so I absolutely believed her adaptation of Lydia. It's kind of refreshing to have new actors and actresses I had not seen being these characters, because then I don't get them in my mind fixed as being another character. But somewhat takes me out of movies is seeing characters as the actors and the actresses' characters and transitions, because I know no matter what, David Tennant is going to be the tenth doctor to me, just showing up randomly throughout history, pretending to be somebody else. But yes, I love the cast, I love the reactions and interactions with people on Twitter, and on Tumblr, and <laughs> on YouTube. That was a brilliant project, and I love Aaron Wirt, and Kelsey Geller, and all the rest of you wonderful people who I've met. Time Travel Magic, and Noble Helium, who got me to make this video somewhat. 
and yeah, Claudia with her OBD diaries. I'm sorry I don't know most of you. I, I like doing the Google Hangouts, it's just that as a student I don't often have time to set aside to do it, and I've got a rather irritable roommate who doesn't really care for things to happen in that way and thinks I'm weird for being friends with all these people from the internet, but internet friends are real friends, and I'd like to say that you all mean quite something to me. Thank you for watching me.